They can't be serious, right? Whoa, 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 what? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 WTF movie ideas. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, the overall quality of a movie doesn't matter, as long as the setup is completely off the hook. We're not saying these are all bad movies, but their premises will make anyone say WTF. Shit, y'all, I'm out of here. It's hot for this shit. It's too hot for TV. Number 10, Sausage Party. Take us to the great beyond where we're sure nothing bad happens to What's food. What's the sliding doors? It might look like a Pixar movie on the surface, but the title sounds more like a gross-out comedy. And the final product is a twisted animated feature that's definitely not for the kiddies. Sausage Party imagines what it would be like if grocery store items were sentient beings. This all amounts to numerous bizarre scenarios, most notably a food orgy that'll either have you laughing hysterically, squirming in disgust, or maybe a little bit of both. While the premise is totally insane, it actually makes leeway for some biting satire regarding religion, bigotry, and even steroid abuse. It's a surprisingly clever story, although it wouldn't be that surprising if it turned out that the filmmakers had been on bath salts throughout production. Oh, what the f is this doing here? Oh yeah, bath salts. <laughs> Number nine, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. What is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is one of those movies where the title speaks for itself. As you'd expect, the story here revolves around mutated tomatoes that are bent on conquering humanity. Why? Because that's just what killer tomatoes do. The setup is basically an excuse to poke fun at low-budget B-movies, as well as classic thrillers like The Birds. It's obvious that nobody involved with this production was trying to be taken seriously. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is unapologetically stupid. Almost as if the filmmakers were making up the story as they went along. But just because the film is self-aware doesn't mean there's any less of the WTF factor to go around. Across this great nation, almost everyone has been affected in one way or another by this terrible tomato onslaught. Number 8. Pixels I got this. If I don't, the world ends. Let's get this straight. Aliens discover video feeds of 80s arcade games and, for some inexplicable reason, assume this is a declaration of war. So these supposedly intelligent extraterrestrials travel all the way to Earth where they challenge mankind to an old-school video game competition. Since the American military doesn't stand a chance against Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, for some reason, our only hope is in the hands of a bunch of middle-aged gamers. Oh, and Kevin James was elected president? So how did such a nonsensical film get made? Well, through Adam Sandler's production company, of course. Yeah, finish these. You're getting chubby. <laughs> Number 7. Sharknado We're gonna need a bigger chopper! Sci-fi original movies always have preposterous setups, but Sharknado goes out of its way to be as ridiculous as possible. It appears hurricanes aren't deadly enough already. The filmmakers had to throw in a water spout that carries sharks out of the ocean and spreads them throughout Los Angeles. As if that's not crazy enough, this made-for-television movie also implies that you can stop a tornado with a bomb and survive after a shark swallows you whole. <laughs> Believe it or not, star Tara Reid has actually gone on record stating, quote, there could be a Sharknado. Of course, Reid isn't exactly a scientific expert. In any case, we'll probably see pigs fly before this movie's premise becomes a reality. When pigs fly. Number six, monster trucks. What are you? Remember that time when Mater literally transforms into a monster truck? Apparently somebody at Paramount found this joke so funny that they had to make a movie out of it. This family film tells the classic tale of a boy and his subterranean beast. Since this mysterious creature can also function as an engine, it seeks refuge in a monster truck. The result is a pun-tastic title and a ludicrous premise. Hey, 
Get back in there. She touched his eye. As weird as this idea sounds, maybe it makes sense from a marketing standpoint. After all, kids like monsters, kids like trucks. So why not bundle them both into one toyetic package? Number five, Theodore Rex. Fossils creep me out. Why is that? Oh, I can feel my ancestors, you know? It's hard to believe this direct-to-video flick really exists. The story takes place in an alternate reality where people and dinosaurs coexist. If you think that sounds strange, hold on to your butts. Oscar winner and every Trekkie's second favorite bartender Whoopi Goldberg plays a detective who teams up with a Tyrannosaurus to take down a madman. Now that's a $30 million idea. Duh. Yep, somebody actually ponied up $30 million to make this thing. It doesn't sound like an actual movie premise. It sounds more like one of those fake trailers played at the beginning of Tropic Thunder than an actual movie. But alas, Theodore Rex is all too real. Okay. What is that smell? Is that you? Number four, rubber. This is what our killer looks like. Tire. Exactly. The idea of a sentient car is kind of silly. You know what's even sillier, though? A sentient car tire with psychic powers. And if that's still not silly enough for you, the tire has a name, Robert. From the second you see Robert spring to life in rubber, it's impossible not to laugh in disbelief. The story follows this little tire as it stalks a young woman, blowing up various animals and people along the way. Needless to say, this concept is beyond bizarre. But honestly, what do you expect from a movie that tells the audience up front that it exists for no reason? But all great films, without exception, contain an important element of no reason. Number three. Eraser head. Oh, you are sick. How could we have a countdown like this without some David Lynch? This director has given us some of the strangest movies of all time, but Eraser Head is his crowning achievement in the weird department. You'll be all right in a minute. A body horror picture following a man with an outlandish hairdo who's left to raise a reptilian-like creature that won't stop crying. Many believe the film's premise is actually an allegory for a father's fear of parenthood. Much like a dream, though, there are countless different ways you can interpret this surreal descent into madness. No matter what you take away from the story, Eraserhead will leave everybody asking the same question. What did I just watch? I can't stand it! I'm going home! Number two, Swiss Army Man. What's up, Jack? You okay? Hello? Hey. After the Harry Potter movies wrapped up, the world wondered what Daniel Radcliffe would do next. However, it's safe to say nobody expected him to play a farting corpse. In this outrageous indie flick, Paul Dano's Hank finds Radcliffe's dead body on a desert island. Utilizing the body as a multi-tool, Hank sets out on a journey about life, love, and friendship. We kid you not, that is the premise. Because I'm just a scared, ugly, useless person. Well, maybe everyone's a little bit ugly. Watching this story unfold, you'll wonder if you're watching a work of genius or a work of insanity. Either way, we can all agree that an idea like this could only come from somebody with a truly unique imagination. I have a lot of questions about all the things you just said. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number one, the human centipede. I don't like human beings. Simply hearing the synopsis for the human centipede is enough to make anybody's jaw drop. The plot centers on a German surgeon that kidnaps three victims and surgically conjoins them from pie hole to bee hole. You're likely wondering how a cringe-inducing idea like this got financed. To answer your question, director Tom Six did not pitch the whole premise to his potential investors. He told them the three characters would be joined together, but failed to mention the whole mouth to anus thing until the film was actually completed. It would seem their investment paid off though, since curious audiences had to see if this movie was as screwed up as it sounds. See you 
<laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.